It is amazing to me that med school applications are slated to open still on May 28th, 2020. Our society has delayed or canceled pretty much everything else. Schools and colleges, religious services, the Olympics, wearing pants. And somehow, despite everything, we're going to act like the admissions process should go on as normal. This doesn't just affect applicants who are experiencing unprecedented levels of stress. It also affects admissions officers, pre-health advisors, professors, even doctors who often serve on admissions committees. Hey Savvy Premeds, Rob here. My colleague Janet Snoyer and I have come up with 13 changes we think med school admissions offices and the AAMC should make for the 2020 to 2021 application cycle to go smoothly. Not all of these will come to pass, of course, but working together, let's make this cycle easier for applicants, admissions committees, and all of us who have to take care of ourselves and our families during this difficult time. Let's begin with number one, suspend rolling admissions. Medical school has traditionally been first come, first served. Applicants who apply early are the first considered for interviews, with acceptances ranging all the way from October through the following May. If we get rid of rolling admissions, it reduces pressure to submit applications in May and June during the heart of this crisis and eliminates the need for time-consuming applicant update letters. Number two, accept pass-fail coursework. So far, most med schools, but not all, are on board. Can we all please agree on a uniform policy to avoid confusion for this cycle? Number three, make transcripts optional until a student gets accepted. Registrars are quarantined. Let's allow them to stay home for May and June when the bulk of the transcripts are traditionally ordered. This change would also ease the need to submit early because students would no longer face a delay in verification between submitting their primary and getting sent and processed to medical schools. Number four, the MCAT should move online. The AAMC seems to think that online testing will increase cheating. Maybe, but that hasn't stopped the GRE or AP exams from going online. It also hasn't stopped the Casper, which uses webcams to decrease cheating. We've got to accept that the old model of standardized testing of gathering dozens of people in close proximity is broken. Even if social distancing is relaxed by the end of the summer, what are we gonna do next fall or winter when the coronavirus shuts down parts of the US? Are we gonna to continue to get together people to take the MCAT? We need a solution. Number five, letters of recommendation should be optional for this application cycle. While important, letters of recommendation should not be the priority right now for faculty who are switching to online teaching and reorganizing their research labs, for advisors who need to be able to advise students during this uncertain time, and certainly not for doctors who have plenty of patients to take care of. Number six, shadowing expectations should be dropped. Shadowing is a de facto requirement at so many med schools, which means you're requiring students to put themselves and their families at risk just to watch doctors in action. There are seven other changes that you can see on our handy infographic. Some involve expectations around research or putting more emphasis on community service this cycle, interpreting leadership more broadly. Others are about the application process, such as offering video interviews instead of in-person interviews, deciding now whether to require the CASPER, and eliminating time-consuming secondary essays. You can read about all of these, of course, for free on our blog at SavvyPremed.com. Change is hard, change is scary, but the sooner we commit to these changes, the better it will be for all of us.